Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man. And tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yes, you know, we here to be the bearer of bad news. But you know, that's how it is, you know, it's a, it's a tough world, you know, and we have a tough job to do at times. And the most important thing for us is to always do what is right. Not who is right, but what is right. And you're looking at a man right now, his name is Omar Anderson. Yes, Omar Anderson. Um, he was convicted, you know, for robbery, you know. And he was sent to prison. He was arrested by a detective, Pike, and he has been following him since um, early on this year. He has been ranting about this detective. Uh, this is a man that did an ex exceptional job, excellent investigation, and was able to time, and he was convicted for two counts of robbery, and he was sent to prison. And the worst thing that happened to him in prison was that, you know, he was held on by a Kid Ralph person in prison, and if you know what, a Kid Ralph person, and his last, his round wall, so his round wall is not that round anymore, and he can't go to Fort Clarence Beach, said Devon Stitchell, who is a Dan from Whitfield Town, Kingston 13. So, you know, Devon Stitchell is a man who was, in the 1990s, when I was at Huntsby, earlier 1990s, he was arrested, charged, and convicted for murder. And guess what? Yes, as with, on the topic of Devon Stitchell, Devon Stitchell, you know, was a man who was released, you know, from General Penitentiary, you know, and this man, Devon Stitchell, he was released from General Penitentiary. There was no, he was convicted and supposed to spend his rest of life, uh, rest of his life in prison. And he was released from prison from um, General Penitentiary. And guess what happened? This man ended up in England. Yes. And the only reason why the English authority knew that he was a convicted murderer 
is because the woman that helped him spend thousands of pounds for this criminal, the yes, man to release from general penitentiary, was that he was beating her about to kill her. Devon Stichel. So I'll show you, you know, Jamaica is a corrupt place, you know, and we don't even, I don't even know if, if or what happened to the warders that were working at the prison at the time of his escape. Yes, that is not in my escape. They release him because there was nothing, nothing in the Jamaica media about this man. A convicted murder was out there, out there in England in the 1990s. Yes, he's from Whitfield Town. Whitfield Town, Kinson 13. That's the same community where Omar Anderson was arrested. So he said that, um, you know, they had violated Anderson. Yeah, so you know, he was, yeah, he was violated in prison and if you understand and know what it means when you say um you know he lost his role all and you know it was several times he was being violated in prison several times it you know countless can't even count for all those things you know so if he you know behaving an inch and ranting but the person that he's supposed to be upset with is himself because as a man who has been to prison and understand how the life of a criminal is supposed to be, you go to prison, you're supposed to be watching your rear. And any man that violates you, you're supposed to take care of them. You know, you understand? You're not supposed to be. And basically, well, we can't say you know, if he was enjoying it, but uh, he didn't fight back. So now he's out there ranting about um, Detective Pike, who did, a, did an excellent job. But we can only tell you from the wit one of the witness witnesses in his case because you know he has been spreading rumors and all kind of lies about this detective and the witness one of the witnesses is tired of it complaining is tired of this man ranting on facebook and and um youtube and telling lies he's a convicted criminal and if you know there's no honest criminals so we want you to listen to this man this is the first video um Someone had sent it to us asking us to, um, to do all necessary. And, um, you know, as we tell you before, you know, you know, after we have done our due diligence, uh, we'll tell you what we have found out about this man. But for now, we want you to listen to this convicted criminal, um, Rear Admiral, who was violated in prison by one of a kid Ralph. Not Kid Ralph himself, you know, but a Kid Ralph. If you are Jamaican and understand what Kid Ralph mean, the meaning of Kid Ralph. Kid Ralph is the name that drive fear into the heart of criminals when they went um when they were sent to prison where we were at. Yeah, and Kid Ralph is a man, he was a boxer too, you know. So it doesn't matter how bad a guy he is and how many people he had killed and this and that. Once Kid Ralph get to lay his hands on him. His kid, yeah, he's, kid Ralph, he's in Kid Ralph's orbit for life. Yes. And Kid Ralph, um, he did an interview with Muta Baruka. And he would, you, you know, you would listen and hear this man how many times he has been in prison. Kid Ralph has spent about 80% of his life on earth in prison, I'm telling you. So, who wanted to listen to this man uh, who was violated in prison and... This was the first video that we had received of him. So you watch, you listen, and you decide, and then we come back. You see the police boy there when him Peter Pike, thief in Peter Pike. You may talk now. See? I'm going to up that investigation where you're under. You learn a bumbo cloth lesson, boy. You see your thief in boy, Peter Pike. I'm going to tell you this. You see? Yo, you see me cool them. Where you thief? You see me care. My jewel and my clothes, my furniture, them and everything. Where you misplay, where you thief? I'm going to tell you this, you see? If I don't get paid by the hook, I'm going to get paid by the bumbo cloth crook. I'm not easy enough. Me I have a bumbo ass cloth, you know. I'm not easy enough, you know. What I say? I'm not easy enough, boy. Bad mind, boy. You're coming at my blood cloth house and you see my clothes. You see my things, them. I, I, I get pussy cloth red for what? My things, them. Me a tell you say, yo, me a tie liner. You a tell me say, me a thief. See? Alright, cool. So, that's why you pressure me and send me a blood clot. 
You lock me up, charge me. You and the little fool fool judge send me a prison. Boom! What you do? As you know, send me a prison so you got teeth out my things. Your teeth, your teeth, everything for me now. Your teeth back my car out of the station. Your teeth all of my tool them, your teeth, everything for me, Peter Pike. Peter Pike will work at um Central Police Station at Kingston. Are you me attack? Teeth in bumbo clad, Peter Pike. Peter Pike, me tell you this. If me not done you by the blood clot, took a gun done you by the crook. If me not done you done you in a, the, the, the court, I go and done you with some bumbo clot over here. You hear? Pussy, you not get to You not get to so till you pay me up every bumbo clot dollar. You see any of the court not give me no justice? Eh? I go and make over here give me some pussy clot justice. Me and money, you know? Watch out for me, you know? Mr. Wallace, again, I'm going to say this to you. You see, any wish part, you have your meeting in a month ago, I'm going to go and find you. So when I turn up at your meeting this time, I'm going to speak openly. I'm going to go and disturb your meeting because I realize say, if Jamaican people no come out and act vulgar and be brawling and be like them dunce, they no get no fucking attention. I realize that. I talk to you. You can't say me not talk to you. Me talk to Miss Molly Malau Ford. She can't say me not talk to her. Only don't care. Not even for tell me say Mr. Anderson. You know say me sorry about it cause yeah we hear about it and what reach you wrong. And it should reach you because you don't deserve that. No. And this you don't want to do. You don't want to take the people them, lock them up. Pressure them because me see a thing, a thing, a thing I go on from prison you know. When the youth them appeal them, them case, you know, and the appeal court not pay them no mind, the court send them an affidavit for them sign it and go to them fucking yard without compensation. And at the same trick, on a play with me. Same fucking trick. You know, see it? But I wouldn't settle for that. More than never give in to that. Mr. Wallace, me not all that done, you know. Me not all that done. Me have things in my head. Half of what me know people never even I when some people test me them really know say yeah you have little sense. Me not so fool you know. I am not all that stupid. Mr. Oldness, may I go ask you again. Please, because me not care. Me will make you me will make you have to tell police to lock him down. Me I tell you that. Anywhere you have your meeting them, me will pop up and make you tell your police them to lock up in bumbo cloth. Because I'm not easy up, you know. So till you give me some form of restoration to this. Right? I want my money. I want my compensation. I'm not supposed to have a beg on you. Who know why to me? I deserve it. I deserve it, you know. I need it. Man, I'm man. Go teach you know this. You see, police, I fight no gun war with them. Now fight no gun war with the system, only not go win. I tell you how to fight them pussy. You see, when police hold on and beat on and rob on and fuck on up, carry them go a court. No afraid of no bumbo clad police, no afraid of nobody. One life every man get. You hear? I see just like how we can lose for we buy them, then can lose for them too. No fight, no fight, no gun war with them. No challenge them in a no fucking physical fight. Fight them spiritual. You see, any who don't try the court with them and the court no go no, no justice. Oi, listen up. Sell all on a blood clot, soul for kill them off. Hey, Peter Pipe, me tell you this. Me are one dangerous motherfucker, you know. You don't know me, you know. Peter Pipe, me we sell all my soul for get to you. You don't know me, you know. Me sell my soul for kill you, you know, Peter Pipe. Me swear, you know. Peter Pipe, me tell you this. You have to pay me, you know. You have a bumbo clad pay me, Omar Anderson, I do ask Christ that. Peter Parker, either me or you. One out of the two, I tell you that. I tell you Jamaica can stab, stab force that. Peter Pike and I have something going. The man rob me and I want my money for all of my bumbo clad things. I'm the police boy thief. And any of me not get justice in the court, I'm going to use Obi and get justice. Brawling, me I tell you no that. Me a work, you know. Peter Pipe, me a pick up the blood clot pieces, you know. Me is a tiler, you know. 
two people in a life you cannot stop. You cannot stop a trade man and you cannot stop an educated man. I am a trade man. I may have little knowledge. So here what? You're fighting a losing battle. You're going to have to find me things, them, give me. Or you're going to have to pay for the hard way, me I tell you that. I don't ask you. Bring it on. I want my money. Peter Pike, just like how I tell Andrew Wellness, I want my money, I tell you. I want money for my things, them. I don't even want about the things, them, dog. I want pay for it. Remember me? That are the only way me and your thing are going to settle when you pay me. If you don't pay me, Peter Pike, pain and sorrow, man. Weeping and moaning, I tell you that. And Appeal court. I'll say this to you. Mr. Brian Sykes, Ms. Marlene Malau Ford, the Attorney General, the whole system. Yeah, so if you listen to this man, you know, this man is a dangerous man, you know, yeah, the man is threatening the police officer's life. He's telling him, you know, is either him, is either the police officer or him. So I will, um, Detective Peter Pike, you know, know that anytime you see this man, you have to take the necessary precaution. We do believe that preemptive strikes save life, you know, because this man is a career criminal. But not only that, um, since... Bef since his release from prison, he could not go b um, venture back into the community where he was committing his crimes because two of the men who were involved um, in the robbery that he was orchestrated, um, police killed them. So the people in the community said that he's the one that informed on the men why police killed them. You understand? They were killed at separate occasions and that happened whilst he was in, in prison. So they are saying that he was working with the police to get a reduced sentence. So you know that he did eight years in prison for robbery. And um, you know, he's a convicted gun robber. And you know, I will let you hear from one of the witnesses. And this man is a criminal. There's no honest criminal. So only a stupid person would believe anything that this man is saying, because everything that he's emitting from his mouth from his mouth are lies. No truth to it. Um, Detective Pike is not a thief, you know, um, never working him but based on information received that, you know, he's a hard working police officer. So you know that this man you're looking at, his name is Omar Anderson and he was sexually assaulted while in prison. And it has been received from credible sources have confirmed that he had suffered assaults over his time in prison. So there's a Dan, Dan from um, the Adan Devon Stichel, who is from Whitfield Town, Kinson 13, confirm, confirmed that Omar is angry about what happened to him when he was in prison and blame Detective Peter Pike for arresting him and causing him to be sent to prison. So it is important to note that making assumption that this man is doing, telling lies and assuming things about the detective, you know, all of these are just unverified information that he's talking about that, um, and misinformation that Detective Peter Pike has told his things, that's, there's no truth to that. But this man has been on a campaign um, from the get-go, from his release from prison to sneer this policeman's character. But this detective, we can tell him, Detective Pike must be vigilant and always look out for this man. As you have heard him saying, because he's running robot taxi now. He's not no Tyler, as he's saying, he's a liar. So he has to be make sure that he looked out for this man because he will do anything just to find out where you're living or anything like that or your kids. So you know, I can tell you this, whether or not you want to believe it, Detective Pike, this man is a dangerous man. So the police force have to find some way to take care of the situation because your life is on the line. I've seen the video before from January 2024 and as I've stated, I just did not. You know, after i um, done my careful analysis and investigation, you know, this man is a criminal, career criminal. And the thing is that it's just that the investigation at Detective Pike that you have done was thorough. And for him to be lamblasting even the judge, even the judge have to be, you know, be careful too. Because you know that they have killed judge already in Jamaica. Yes, and 
it was done by men from whether or not you want to believe it, from the PMP LG from the PMP criminal organization. Yes, the man that was behind the killing of that judge, the mastermind that alleges Danai Williams. Yes, and he was that. You know that's how it is in the PMP criminal organization. You're a killer, a murderer, the Lord and Reviewer in the PMP criminal organization. So what this man is out there emitting and spewing about Detective Pike. Detective Pike must be vigilant. And the police hierarchy, they need to do something about this man. Yes, you know, you have to find some way to deal with him. Because this man is a threat and a danger to the society. And you listen to him, the hunger that he has and the hatred that he has toward the police officer. Not wanting to take responsibility for his behavior, for being a criminal. You understand? The thing is that he was caught. And they have also they have all the necessary and he was sent to prison. But no, if it was no, he would get life imprisonment. So and that's the reason why this man is mad. And you know that he um he cannot go to um Fort Clarence or else you know he will drown. You understand? Because you know that his round wall was ruptured, yes, by a kid Ralph man and all he had to do when he was in prison, if somebody tried to fight his fight, you know. So the strength that he had on social media, apparently was overpowered by that man who was in prison with him, in the same cell. So Omar Anderson is a convicted robber who was, who was the main conspirator in robbing unsuspected customers who wanted to buy used cars that were advertising Jamaica Sunday Gleaner. So every Sunday he would advertise cars and at prices that unbelievable. And for some reason or the other, after he had you know you know you would talk with the um the suspected the the buyer, then he would just disappear and then out of nowhere gunmen would arrive and they would rob the victims. So it was two robbery. So we're going to let you ta listen to one of them. We're going to talk to one of the victims tomorrow. Yes, because we, we are in touch with the victim. And the problem was that I think that uh, if they had done, the police had done what they should have done then, this problem would have been put to rest. If they had just used preemptive strike and saved lives, you know, because this man now is out for blood. Yeah, Omar Anderson. He was held on by a kid Ralph in prison and he lost his round wall. And he can't go to Fort Clarence Beach. Said Devon Stitchell, who is a Dan from Whitfield Town, Kinson 13. He know he cannot violate Devon Stitchell because Devon Stitchell, murderer, bad man. So, moving on. So, he was a chief collaborator against Jamaicans who wished to who wish to purchase vehicles at a reasonable rate and thought that they were getting a deal. But what happened was it was a ploy to get the prospective customers to come into his enclave of Unsbeer police era where he would lower his victim and then get his criminal friends to use guns and rob these people. So I had received the video that I had um, played earlier from 20, January 2024 from a criminal. I knew when I was at Huntsby asking me to look into the matter for this man. When I did my due diligence and background investigation, what I came up with was nothing short of a career criminal who will do anything to have his way and will lie, lie and pretend as if he's a victim when he's in fact a convicted criminal and a liar pathological liar and narcissist. Yes, that's what this man is. So I'm going to, so as you, you know, I, I have literally listened to this man, you know, uh, Omar Anderson, threatening Detective Peter Pike. I don't know Detective Pike, or I've ever worked with him, but from what I've heard, he's not a thief in detective. Like this convicted criminal who is ranting and displaying his anger towards a cop for doing his job. The police I come on need to do something about this man as he has been threatening the cop's life. Whether it was, if you hear him say it, um, 
explicitly or, or him implied that he might even kill the police. But he's using codes, so you don't know that is what he's mean. So you know, as a detective, you know that um, the nature of criminal activities are often criminals are often involved deception, dishonesty, and violation of trust. This can shape one's perspective on individuals involved in these activities. So we know that there's no honest criminal, and this man is this man is far from being honest. He's a thief, a robber, a criminal. And although he has been to prison, this man is bitter, hungry, because he did not expect the system to um, to dispense justice to him because they used to, you know, committing crime and getting away with it. So, for, you know, he has been held accountable and he's the one that went to prison for eight years. So that money that he had robbed the victims before and laugh about it. Yeah, so what he didn't, so, you know, after the robbery and money shared and everything at the first time, they laughed about it and, you know, thinking of the next victim. I know eventually somebody would have got killed, but great job by Detective Peter Pike. This man, you know, you, um, you know, certain things were put in place, and that's how he was caught. Yeah, the detective did an excellent job, but the only thing is that, unfortunately, you know, they didn't send him to the departure lounge. But um, it was a very, very good investigation. And this man is a nuisance and a leech on society. So you know that um, he's bitter because he could not believe. Based on where he's from, he's from Kingston 13. And you know that the criminals there, they always have um, immunity from prosecution. When I say immunity, normally they would go to court and they would walk. But this time, he went to prison. And thanks to Peter, Detective Peter Pike, and the witnesses in the case. So while honesty and criminal behavior may seem contradictory, individual can and do reform. But not this man. This man not reform. Him not reform at all. Him go to prison and him get worse. You understand? So he's, you know, he's now um, advocating for violence towards the police. Yeah, he say, man, a gunman him for kill police. Because he upset. We well, understand that police, being a police officer is a job. And your job is to make sure that you keep the citizen safe. So he's upset that um, he was, first time in his life, able to held accountable for his criminal actions. And that's why you have to give Detective Pike credit for the investigation that he has done. And he has done a meticulous um, investigation, you know, making sure that this man, you know, went to prison and he spent eight years there. I know for his eight years there, you know, he was somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if them call it wife or husband, but that's what happened to him. That was what Devon Stichel says, that this man was raped. Yeah, he was, you know, assaulted whilst he was there. Um, yeah, so, he's not, he, this man is not about to change. So it's a complex issue with many nuances, you know, uh, with criminals, convicted robber, Omar Anderson. So, you know, convicted robbers who use guns to commit their crimes can exhibit a variety of traits. You know, and um, use a firearm. Use a firearm. Robbers who use guns are often more likely to plan their crimes and target iris, you know, commercial establishment. But like for him now, he use it now against... Um, Seeing poor people, them poor people will feast them and get a deal. Not knowing, say, I rob them and get robbed by this um, carousing. Look at him. You understand? So, we are telling them. So, according to the Department of Correctional Service in Jamaica, yes, most robbery offenders are male. Most, 99.7% that are convicted on them. Are more than. <laughs> are more than 98% of them are from PMP criminal organization community, like Peter Pike. He's from a PMP criminal organization community. Whitfield Town is a PMP, PMP community. 
No labor can't live in a Whitfield town. So there is a PMP criminal organization. That's why you hear me. You saw him you listen to him words. That's how they operate. I you know um, he has prior criminal history, you know, and it's because of his lifestyle. He choose a life of crime and he expect to be held accountable, so he's upset. Him, um, Pete, um, him, Omar Anderson, he's a professional robber. Yeah, man, professional criminal who carefully plan his robberies, you know, often working in groups. Others are opportunistic and do not plan their crime. So like him, no, him plan for his crime, you know, that's why I'm advertising myself, car in a Sunday Gleaner. But what Jamaican people must know, that anytime you have to go into a community to buy a vehicle, especially anytime you go anytime you have Spanish anyway, Anywhere in Jamaica, if you are buying a vehicle, you must buy it in a meet them meet in a police station with the vehicle. Do not meet them because you have to understand that Jamaicans and all are not honest people. But you know, trust me, um, you still have a lot of naive Jamaicans in Jamaica who think the best of other people. As to me, no, it's the opposite. I think the worst of them. I tell you, so no guy, no guy couldn't say myself in a car about me going to Whitfield Town or anywhere in a Kinson 13, 11 or 20 go by. If me buy a vehicle, it have to be from the car mart or in a police station. I'm going to buy a car from second, from people. My, most of, all of my car that I used to drive in Jamaica, it come directly through the dealership, you understand? With it, you know, with it um, from Japan. I know it have a kind of funk, you know, a weird smell, you understand? So... That's how I used to get my vehicle. So please note that, you know, you know, there are general trends that may not apply to everyone. But you know, this man is him a thief or a thief normally not change. So Omar Anderson, indeed, has a criminal record in Jamaica. He was convicted on June 11th, 2015, yeah, for illegal possession of firearm and two counts of robbery with aggravation. However, the specific details about his experiences in prison, as we tell you, you know, um, we're just giving you snips based on the information received and obtained from a convicted murderer who's in prison and he's a Dan from Whitfield Town, Kingston 13. So you know that um, this man, he cannot go to Fort Clarence or else he can't go to Fort Clarence or else he John. You know how it is, you understand? Because uh, once, once, you know, that Ron, um, you know, him, him become a Ron old guy. You know, him lose all of them things that you understand, so. Him can't do that. But you know, Fort Clarence Beach is a popular destination in Elsha, in St. Catherine. And it is known for its white sand, giant dunes and coastal vegetation. And we are telling you, Omar Anderson is prohibited. Yeah, man, from visiting Fort, Cla um, Fort Clarence, based on his, what happened to him in prison. You understand? And you know, the volunteer that I'm going to give you information is from Whitfield Town, Kingston 13. Uh, Whitfield Town has been described as a community experiencing significant challenges, including violence, violence, murders, robbery. As God, these people, them feed by each other, you know, I tell you. Yeah, as the least good thing and a man have a disagreement, boy, I'm going to fear God and I'm going to kill you. I saw them operate. They don't talk about things. I tell you, I'm used to that on speed. Trust me. You would just have to drive all the police car or a police bike car or bicycle. And you just see a man just come out and start shoot somebody. And I just saw it at the You understand? And these people, they don't have no, they don't have no regard for their lives or other lives. I don't know how them do it, but that's how them live. You understand? So all of the information that we are giving you is from you know some data from the you know from the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Department of Correctional Services, and these are reliable sources. Uh, you understand? And it's it's important that you know everything that we are doing here is factual. We cannot you know um, assume, assume and what we're telling you is a real mama papa truth. You understand? So. Yeah, Omar Anderson, who know say he was held down by a kid Ralph in prison and you know him Yeah, him become a role, you know. And him know that. 
So while it is essential to hold the principle of freedom of speech, it is equally crucial to maintain respect for law and, the respect and its representatives, including judges and investigating officers. So we are telling all the some reason why this man behaves like that. Respect for the legal processes. Judges and officers are integral part of the justice system. Disres disrespecting or threatening their lives undermine legal process and the rule of law. So that's why we say police I command them need to act upon this man. In a threat to anyone's life, including an investigator and officers, are severe and can lead to further legal consequences. Detective Peter Pine need to report him. Yeah man, he need to report him and address the matter immediately. Convicted criminals, you know, especially Omar Anderson, those who resort to name calling and threats may lack credibility. His words should be scrutinized and not accepted without question. I you know this man is a convicted criminal and you know say I'm a liar. So don't take him word because I say I hope they are not about Peter Pike and if you he watch his demeanor, you can't see him a real criminal. So listening to a convicted criminal, you know, doesn't mean accepting everything they say as truth because you know convicted criminals are liars. However, understanding his perspective can sometimes provide insight into his into his behavior and be helpful in the rehabilitation effort. This man now go be you can't rehabilitate this man. Yeah. Him done because what I'm saying maybe more have to go back to prison I want to go to departure lounge. Remember everyone, you know, has a right to express their views, but it's essential to do so in a manner that respects others and the law. You can't see nothing I respect for you with the Prime Minister. Remember where him come from? Kingston 13. And Kingston 13 is what kind of community? PMP criminal organization community. So they now have no respect for the rule of law or they no respect. They're not seeing themselves. So that's why he's behaving like that. But I tell you, so if you want to see people with you know more discipline and more respectful behaviour. You're not going to find that in a Whitfield town, Kingston 13. Very, you know, you might find maybe 3% three, 3 of the people inside there that behave um, decent because they might just go with the flow. Because, hey, when you're living in them community, you know, after 6 o'clock, you know, everywhere have a lock up, you know, because in them time that the criminal them come out, you know, because them sleep at day and come out at night. Same boy, they live in the same community, and them terrorize the same people, them. PMP community. Criminal terrorize the PMP community residents. So, I don't know what I tell you, trust me. Them the place they are dangerous place to live in them, man. So, we know that um, Omar Davy, uh, Omar Anderson, <laughs> because Omar Davy constituency near to Whitfield Town, you know, Omar Anderson, we know that he suffer from PTSD. And this is, a this is a condition that can develop after a person has experienced traumatic events such as sexual assault. So because them violate him, you know, say him have PTSD. And you know him symptoms can include flashback, nightmares, severe anxiety and uncontrollable thoughts about the event. So that's why I'm fixed and hate Peter Pike or Peter Pike lock him up and he got a prison but him no want to um, take responsibility for his actions. Yeah? Because you are the mastermind of the collaborator and you are set in you know, advertise thing in you know, the paper say I sell car when you know, have no car because even the car that he's talking about that was stolen at Tonsby there was no title for the car and you understand what I'm saying and Peter Pike has nothing to do with the disposal of that car he did not own any cars or anything like that that car was a stolen car you understand so he's a liar so we'll continue the journey so you know that um you know, many survivors of sexual assault may experience feelings of sadness, loss of interest in activities they once enjoy, changes in appetite and feeling of worthlessness or guilt. So, boy, I wouldn't know if you might experience anything, you know, because, you know, if you're a man, well, a big man like that and, you know, and flip him, <laughs> boy, may I tell him, you know, hey, that's why I mean, a man become criminal, you know, because look when all this a big man, you know, with him go to prison and a man violate him. And see him come out now and them thing there. So you know, so not even woman, cause I saw it go on them thing there. Cause everybody in the community knows so them. Them, you understand them. Him experience the wrong whole business. You understand them violate him at prison. So you don't know everybody in our Whitfield town know that. 
So you know, say I suffer from anxiety, and this can manifest as persistent, worrying, restlessness, and trouble with concentration. So as you hear my talk and just watch him demeanor, or you, you understand how he was behaving. So you know, say I have problem. Disassociation. Some survivors may experience a disconnect from their body or reality, a way of mentally escaping from the trauma. So that's why I'm so hooked on Peter Pike. But who am supposed to hook on him and rape him? I, well, a man who sexually assaulted him in prison, as Devon Stitchell says. And I have no reason to disbelieve Devon Stitchell, because you understand what I'm saying? Devon Stitchell are all corrosion. But you, have, you understand, say, although I'm a criminal and everything, they must say, boy, you know, Omar, Omar needs to stop disrespect the police because the man does a do him work. A criminal, that, you know. You understand, because he kill somebody and go to prison. So, uh, I don't know if he might get parole anytime so Never on Stitchell. So, Stitchell said, I rape him. He said, man, them violate Omar D. Anderson. But he couldn't help him and him thing. That's how he said. Because he said, never know them you there. Them you there as a bad man. So, he knows him have problem regulating his emotion. Omar, you know, I um, may struggle with intense emotional reactions, mood swings, or a feeling of numbness. So all of them things that we see my display are because of his trauma that he have experienced in prison. I don't know how a man wants to go to prison. And when you go to prison, you're in a prison, in a cell with other, with a two or up to nine men. And them say, him did not want to sell those two or two men. And him couldn't sleep without making him fart. <laughs> Hey, <coughs> boy, I mean, I tell you, you know, hey, boy, oh, man got prison rasta. Oh, man say man have to become criminal. I know him, this a big man, yeah. Um, oh, man, and they say that prisoner, make man, violate him rasta, and him no fight. Well, them say, boy, the man is a, the man, like a kid, well, feeling get a song, up across, you know, boop, boop. <laughs> man, he say, give me this and take it from him. Why well, them take why well, well, why well, man them violate Omar and the surround wall? Boy, well, I tell you, hey, Virgin, I open all you out there listening. So you see, when a man got prison, hey, trust me, when a man got prison, at the same judgment starting. Like I hear a man say, when a man got prison, no matter how many people you kill out of the road, you know, that no count, you know, you have to prove yourself that this is a real bad man there in a prison, you know. Man like all Joel and the man, the man, the box Zeke's and beat up ninja man. You have to physical when you go there, sir. So that's why Ninja Man a baby in a prison. I'm a fi, Ninja Man a fi a wash all man clothes. <laughs> hey, hey, Stitchell say boy, hey, say Omar when him die a prison, I him used to wash all the man them clothes. You never know, say oh, all man do all them something in a prison and them thing there. Wash a man. <laughs> and I wash all the man underpants and all them thing there. I eat that thing that, hey. So the man, them have a man in a prison, I like some, sure, I disrespect that man. So me know say him feel hurt over them thing. <laughs> oh, all a man wash all the next man and up and see Omar explain that to me. But I mean I tell you. So we know say, you know, loss of self sense of self. Some survivor may struggle with their self image and self worth, feeling a loss of their pre previous identity. So him go to prison and come out back totally different because the man him violate him. And you know, some have some physical symptoms, and you know, these can include headaches, stomach difficulty, chest pain, and difficulty sleeping. So, you know, same can't sleep, you know. You understand? Because every time him close him eyes, all them beating the way him get on, plus all them have to wash all the man, them all the pants. <laughs> oh, all the man, go, hey, boy, I tell all the man, say, him want to be bad man, youth. Look, when this a big trunk trapped in man, yeah. I in the prison, I wash man all the pants. I don't know why I forgot prison. I even I might before him him the day I put him that prison fight but the man the man beat them up. No, I police no him a, him out here and I tell lie upon. Like a pike, you know, violate him round all. But I saw criminal stay still though, you know. You understand? As I'm saying, you know, everyone responds differently to trauma. And you know, people trauma is unique. And with all these symptoms, you know, we know that um, Omar, we know that you are struggling with these issues, and it's essential to seek help, help from a mental health professional. Many resources there are Jamaica now because, unlike one time in a way, 
things never dear for help um, Jamaican people. There's so many things that's there that can help you. So just go and seek some help. We know say yeah, we know say them thing that degrading still learn as a big man, you have to wash all a man clothes, no rasta. So we know say them thing that hurt you. But but I um, you know, just go and seek some help. And the worst thing all the man them violate you, you can't even got a, a fourth clearance, your girlfriend left you because she hears a boy man violate your prison car. Not no stay hey. Not no stay behind the walls of prison, you know. So it fact that's why I'm have to move out of the community because I don't know say man them say boy oh him bow. I just say go on them thing there. So um Peter Pike, I don't know yet, but you, you know, you understand. Just remember say the Jamaica Young Police Channel is a police and we are here all years. All years supporting the police cause the police was is what our first years of higher education. So have a beautiful day and Omar, Omar Anderson, please go and seek some mental help because you understand because we can't see that here unraveling right in front of us and you get angry and angry and them thing now. We don't want nothing to you. Go and seek some help, my brother. Have a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel out.